China threatens U.S. with response to missile deployment in the Asia-Pacific region. Beijing has condemned Washington's deployment of intermediate-range missiles in the Asia-Pacific region and will take all effective measures to prevent the U.S. from messing up the South China Sea, Chinese Defense Ministry spokesman Wu Qian said. His comments come after the U.S. kicked off its largest joint exercise with the Philippines since the Cold War in the South China Sea earlier this week. The exercise, dubbed Balikatan, is set to run through May the 10th and is said to involve over 11,000 U.S. soldiers and 5,000 Philippine servicemen. A French frigate as well as troops from France and Australia are also participating in the event. Earlier this month, the U.S. also held a separate two-week round of exercises with the Philippines dubbed Salaknib 2024, during which it deployed SM-6 missiles capable of reaching Taiwan. The weapon has a maximum range of more than 400 kilometers, while a new medium-range MRC Typhon land missile system is capable of launching from the Philippines island of Luzon. Asked to comment on the move, Wu stated that Beijing firmly opposes the deployment of such weapons by the U.S. in the Asia-Pacific and stressed that such an action by Washington severely threatens the security of regional countries and undermines regional peace and stability. China will take resolute countermeasures. We hope the relevant country could refrain from opening the door to the devil, which will only end up hurting everyone, including itself, the spokesman said. Wu stated that China sees the strengthening diplomatic relations between the U.S. and the Philippines as the two countries' business. However, he stressed that such relations must not harm China's or any other country's interests and must not undermine peace and stability in the region. China's military will continue to pay close attention to the situation in the region and will take all effective measures to respond effectively and will never allow relevant parties to mess up the South China Sea, Wu added.